And it was sentencing day in Bridgeport. The former pit bull rescue president acquitted of killing five dogs, but convicted of criminal damage to property. Today, Heidi Luters getting 15 months in prison for trashing the home where she actually kept those animals. So why is she free tonight? New South Connecticut's Marissa Alter explains. You are hereby committed to the Commissioner of Corrections for a period of five years. Execution suspended after 15 months. Probation for a period of five years. Judge Peter McShane handed down that sentence to Heidi Luters for criminal destruction of property after hearing from both sides, including the defendant herself. Luters blamed her actions on a heroin addiction. I am sorry for the destruction of Kelly's home. I'm sorry for everything that happened and I fully accept responsibility. The Fairfield home Luters was renting was found filled with garbage, feces and drug paraphernalia, along with the skeletons of five dogs. McShane found Luters not guilty of starving them to death at trial, but he did consider the dogs deaths at sentencing and allowed the court appointed animal advocate to speak. The state may not have proved that Ms. Luters intentionally and maliciously killed these dogs but she is irrefutably guilty of gross, unforgivable negligence. Prosecutor Felicia Valentino told the court she wasn't seeking the maximum sentence of five years because of the restitution issue, but said looters needed to serve time. Heidi Luters undoubtedly needs to be punished for her actions and the crime committed here. But defense attorney Rob Serafinowitz pushed for probation and drug treatment. Ms. Luters stands before the court with no prior criminal record judge. Ms. Luters ran a dog rescue for many years, and Ms. Luters helped and saved many dogs over that course of time. But the judge mentioned the five dogs who died in her care as he sentenced her. But the fact that those dogs who died were left to rot, were left to decay, were left to diminish in the cages in which an animal should be able to find some comfort. It's horrific. Sarah Finowitz later called the sentence absolutely ridiculous and said he would appeal Luter's conviction. The judge granted his request for an appeal bond, which Luter's later posted. So the question is, what happens now? Well, Luter's will remain out on bond subject to the same release condition she had before. Only if and when her appeal is rejected will she begin serving time. In Bridgeport, Marissa Alter, News 12, Connecticut.